Welcome back, theme park wizard. Today we're going to talk about all the rides that I know of, I personally know of, that are going to be delayed this year due to the coronavirus and the park closures. These parks are going to be at Disney parks, Universal parks, SeaWorld parks, and some Cedar Fair parks. Most specifically, not Spay Farm. We're going to start off with Disney though, as we get a nice look at Universal here. But the first thing we're going to start off here is Avengers Campus. And Avengers Campus has an opening date of July 18, 2020. But Avengers Campus doesn't look like it will make that opening date. Now, it really depends on when the Disney theme parks open up again. Because uh, according to Walt Disney World, it looks like they're taking down res reservations in June. So if Disneyland follows the same thing, that means they'd open June 1st. July, the Avengers Campus are supposed to open July 18th, and there's currently no work being done on, oh, done on it. So I'd say potentially a fall opening for Avengers Campus, which is very unfortunate. I'm super excited for this to open. But oh, oh, yeah, luckily it's almost done. So waiting, um, waiting a few more months is better than having... Than better than not having it at all. No. Avengers East ticket though may be delayed indefinitely, which is very sucky. <laughs> Hopping over to the international parks, we see Hong Kong here. The Hong Kong expansions have been frozen in place for a long time. The Tokyo Disney expansions, as well, have been frozen in or not frozen, in place, but um, mid May is when the all Tokyo Disneyland expansions are opening. So. The park should be opening April 20th or thereafter. Walt Disney Studios Park, I'm not very sure, but that expect that to be delayed as well. And Ratatouille at Epcot is going to be delayed. That is supposed to supposed to open the summer potentially at the end of the um, Flower Garden Festival, but that does not look like it's happening. Of course, another thing that's going to be up. Um, delayed and really sucks because it, it as you see here it's testing is SeaWorld San Diego Emperor Emperor as uh, this video shows as early as just a few weeks ago uh, was testing and everything could have gone right potentially could have opened actually this week um, late March early April because it was just about done so it really, really uh, suffered uh, came right on the close end that's uh, not the only ride that came close to opening but got delayed as we'll see at the end of this video another one is iron Gwazi, which and also is another one um that was testing um it was very it was testing the same day no then emperor was testing so that was looking to go ahead and open credit so thanks for the amusing amusement insider for you know, making this awesome pov on the game No Limits. But yeah, hopefully these rides can open as soon as possible. I'll, and I'll link the SeaWorld. SeaWorld's a little bit in trouble. They need these rides open. They need attendance. Because as you see in the video I'll link above, SeaWorld's in trouble because it furloughed 90% of its workforce starting April 1st. That's Wednesday, guys. That's that's terrible. So we'll find out more information on that up above in the link here. Moving on, another ride that will be delayed. And the last ride that we believe is Secret Life of Pets. Secret Life of Pets. I, I have a story about this one. Because Secret Life of Pets, the past preview was Saturday. Um, Saturday about two weeks ago. I was supposed to go on Monday, the 16th. But the parks closed literally that Saturday. And that's how close to, that's how um, close was to opening. And we're about to have past previews for this attraction. Two weeks ago, and the official opening day was actually two days ago, March 27th. Of course, that didn't work out. But, you know, it's, it super sucks because I really uh, am super excited for this action. As you see, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is from um, my last, actually, very last update video on this attraction. When I was at Universal for the very last time when I you know, wanted to go check out the test seat and the official entrance to the attraction. And I'll actually I'll link that video above just in case you want to see the whole thing. But it looked absolutely, absolutely um beautiful. 
here. I, I mean, look at it. It's just so absolutely incredible. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this attraction opens up. Um, hopefully Universal is able to open up April 19th. Hopefully the situation will be better by then. And then uh, they'll be able to open up. But if not, you may not get to ride this ride until summertime. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.